Good afternoon, Manchester, New Hampshire, and all the surrounding areas. I'm trying to find out if my guest is going to be coming on my show or if he changed his mind without notifying me. So it might be just a quick show today. Um, but we're going to talk about different things, um, like the virus that's going around here. And folks, it is serious. You know, it really it just has a lot of uh, side effects and people are dying every day. I never thought that I would be saying this. You know, but that's okay. You know, and the one thing that I want, and I want not to send out praise for everybody who um, has contacted the Corona 19 virus. Unfortunately, my son has it, but he's got the light. He's home. I have not come in physical contact with him. I do talk to him on the phone. And the one thing that we are going to do is just be really taking everything serious, okay? I'm, I'm here probably for an hour, so knowing my friend Brandon there, he can probably fill in for the other hour. But one of the things that I, I was watching my uh, John Hopwood show, a rerun I think today, and I remember Howie quite well. Howie used to be on my show every week, and the favorite thing I remember with him was this, the uh, on the lamplighter. The one thing I remember about Howie was how he used to come in and say, Norman, I want 15 minutes. And I very nicely gave it to him. He was a marvelous person. He was a very generous hearted person. <laughs> and I just thoroughly enjoyed having him on. Do I miss him? Yes. I think a lot of us will miss him. You know, um, I went on show yesterday or, the, or last week that Jim, uh, gonna, he's a poet, has his own TV show. And that he was going to be coming on, and I guess he must have changed his mind or whatever, but he did not let me know. And you know what? That's okay. You know, life goes on. You know, so here again today, I'll probably do just an hour show. One of the things I'm actually seeing is a lot of deserted areas, and it breaks my heart. I walk down on Elm Street, and it doesn't look like they're bustling, tussling Elm Street. It looks like almost like a deserted village. But please, folks, take care of you. Take care of yourself. Take care. Stay at home. Only go out if you necessarily have to. We don't need to have all this done. I don't know. You want to set it up, Scott, or while it's still doing this or not? Uh, yeah, so, go ahead. And uh, we'll be setting it up. And always remember, folks, as it gets near, we're going to be coming to an end of this disease. It's never, never going to go away. But will it be arrested? Will it be nullified? Yes. And then I'm looking at possibly November, it's going to get blown out of proportion even more. And if you have any questions you'd like to ask me, feel free to give me a call at area code 603-640-3091. Okay, feel free to just come and say hi. If there's somebody else here that has to be a single person that wants to come in and join me and offer their opinion or whatever, I'm alone, so feel free to come on in and uh, make a comment or whatever. You're more than welcome to. But I leave it's only one person at a time, right, Brandon? You know, so um, just feel free. You know, and this, this in April was my 20th year, either 20th or 21st year that I've been doing this. And I gotta say, I enjoy every minute. I was lost without being able to do the way I wanted to do it. I was truly, truly lost because I had to stay at home and not look forward to the TV show, but I'll be doing another one. I've been doing them on Facebook, um, and I've been doing it on YouTube. So, you know, it, staying at home, in a way, has been a blessing. I know how to do a show on Facebook. I'll be doing one tomorrow night between 8 and 9 p.m. I'm gonna try to get a hold of a friend of mine and talk with her. She's also a reader, a very good tarot card reader, Caitlin Russell. And then, um, that's okay. But I still got to try to get some more guests to come on, maybe for an hour, and then have another one come on for an hour next week or the week after. You got to, I have to refocus all this energy, and that's okay. One of the things that I'm looking at, too, is that I hope that we are taking care of the homeless people. I want to believe it because they're still all congregated together is the virus spreading through them? Does anybody know? 
what is happening with our government. Believe it or not, I know that a lot of people who don't like Trump, and of course everybody knows I do, but this is, can make us a stronger, get-together nation. We can be a lot stronger than we have been. And it's strictly up to us. Or we can run away and hide from it and, not, and try not to get better. I see people out in the park day after day after day, no mask, you know, and, and especially the little children, because to me, the children are vulnerable. And when the parents allow them to go in there and play, they're big signs out there. But the one re refreshing thing that I like doing is I like taking a walk on the hands across the Merrimack. It goes from one, all the way, from one end all the way down. I go to the Fishy Cat Stadium or, you know, on the Northeast Dental, is that what they call it? Yeah. yeah, you know. You can set that, uh, I don't even want to. Oh, well, huh? Oh. I guess he must have been told not to come on or whatever. I don't know what his story is. But he saw me ring and I, nobody answered. And that's okay. You know, that's okay. When a lot of the people had their own shows and I find that they don't have time to talk with me anymore. And that's okay. It really is. I've had about 14 people that have been on my show and have spin-offs on them, but they don't last very long, and that's something then too, you know? The spirit is an ever-ending spirit of love, peace, and healing. For all those people out there who have the symptoms, for all those people out there, do know that please allow yourself to be healed. Please don't allow yourself to get sick. Drink a lot of protein, take a lot of vitamin C, take a lot of vitamin, eat healthy, go for a walk, even around your block, go for a walk. I have done more walking in the last four months than I have in many, many years. And it feels good. I've walked around several times a day, trying to get my gorgeous shape back, you know how that is, which is a lot of work, believe me, you know. But I also want to feel positive, you know. Feel strong and feel positive about you and within yourself. Don't look back at yesterday. It doesn't do us any good. Move forward. We actually, Scott and I got a uh, air fryer Scott, you like that air fryer? Yep. Scott says he loves it. I don't do no cooking anymore. I don't want to ruin my nails. You know how that is. But uh, we also just believe in each other. Take care of each other. Take care. And one of the things I see coming through with all of us is that a big flourish of healing. And for those people who have lost their loved ones through the uh, Corona-19 virus here, we ask for the many blessings from the Spirit, that they will be, be given the gift of healing, that they'll be given the gift of all love and understanding, you know? And that's what I would like to see with everybody. Don't be angry at the people. Don't be angry at your country. Instead of being angry, bring in love, bring in peace. And let's see what we have in the cards that will tell us. I'm going to try to do this for the future for the people out there to see what's going on with it. I do know that there is a lot more healing coming up. I know that going out and sitting outside and having dinner at the restaurants that have the outdoor and the fire, I think I really think that they need that boost. Self-involved. For those who are not really taking care of themselves, they will be, but yet they're too busy to take care of other people, that they're forgetting 
<coughs> to take care of themselves. Excuse me, I want to drink a water. And they're beginning to become more self-involved and looking at, hey, you know, it's time for me to help myself so that I can help others. Make sure you're taking your vitamin. Make sure you're walking. Make sure you're wearing your mask when you go to the grocery store. I know it's not legally required. I believe it is in Massachusetts, though. And I believe that's a lot of quarantine. But don't be afraid to wear them. There's nothing wrong with it. You're only protecting yourself. When you walk into a supermarket, you don't see the people wearing the masks. It's kind of nerve-wracking. Because you're trying to do the right thing. Yes, there's a lot of meat shortage. There's a lot of different shortages coming on. Okay. And also, one of the things I also want to say to people, to, you know, being self-involved, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't think that because you're taking care of you that your ego is going to be out of proportion. No, it's not. It's okay to have an ego. It's okay to have the ego so that when you're helping other people that you know what you're doing. Just don't be like me and let your ego get out of control. Creative. While you're at home, while you're taking care of other people, be creative in your mind. When you're creative in cooking, when you're creative in yard work, when you're creative in artwork with your children, this is the time for families to spend time together. Having a nice dinner, playing board games. Just talk with each other. Put your cell phones down. Shut off your computers. And truly, truly get to know each other. Hi, Mom. Oh, you're my mother? I didn't realize that. Or you're my son. Where have you been? Oh, I've been on the computer. Or I've been out uh, playing in the yard. I haven't got time. But you know what? Make time before it's too late. Very good friend of mine's father passed away recently, but they were in getting contact. Make time to be with your family. I know it's about sound redundant. Hey, I just used a big word. Anybody on this, Scott? But, okay. I don't expect to have a lot of people watching today because it is local and I don't have my guests on and that's okay. I'm hoping to get more people on. I'm hoping to have all these other people that may come in. Maybe Gary Hopper will come in. Can you te can you text Gary on there for me, Scott, on your phone? You know, but look around you. Look at the trees. Look at the sun shining brightly or in a full moon, or just look around. Breathe in that fresh air. Always bringing in the fresh air. See, when I think when the rain and the snow and all the stuff that's going on, one of the things I truly believe that the spirits of all the universe is trying to get rid of all that negative energy, trying to bring in the positive energy into our lives. Open your windows in your house. Open them, let all that bad energy out, and let all that refreshing energy come in. Let it all out. It is okay. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Norm's Community in the Corner. Norm? Yeah. Well, you not on TV? No, not right now. Nobody's here. Who's this? Claudette? Oh, wait a minute. I thought you were. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. Hang I on. I think you was on TV. <laughs> yeah, I am. Hi. Wave to me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wave to you and I listen to you. Okay. I, well, they, they charged me when I called you. Yeah. This is my oh, very yeah. good friend, Claudette. She's a very good uh, uh, lady. She, she and I have been friends for many years now. So how are you feeling, Claudette? Well, I'm feeling better today. I, I'm more happy, and my toe is better, and I feel better. I don't know. I hope. I hope we're still on a, a 40 uh, days. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, but it, they said 
we'll see what's going to happen. Yeah. But, I'm looking at maybe my next week or the week after that they'll open your building up so you can go out. Yeah, yeah, I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like a well, caged in animal might not be able to go out? Yeah. Well, yeah. no, I'm going to let you go because I have our time to hear you. Okay. And I'm going to talk to uh, to you uh, next uh, tomorrow or another day. Okay? All righty. Hey, Claudette, stay healthy, stay wise, and eat and drink a lot of vitamins, okay? Drink your... Okay, yeah. I listen to you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye now. One of my very good friends. I'm quiet. Comes to my office quite often. Um, Quanta, and I just love her. You know, the one thing about this is that the business has been hurting. You know, my office is closed, unfortunately. But I can still do. If you want a, a reading or whatever, or a question, you can go to Facebook. And you'll see me on there, or Spiritual Readings by Norm. I'm on there as well. My Reverend Norm, I'm sorry, right, Scott? You know. And, or you can call me at area code 603-289-4789. Or you can, actually, I found, uh, you can email me at secondvisionsbynorm at comcast.net. And I also have a Gmail one. I don't remember the number. Do you remember? i got to write that down. You know. But... Don't be afraid, and like tomorrow I'll probably be doing another show. I also am on uh, YouTube. I just like doing what I'm doing. If people don't respond, that's okay. <coughs> but you have to enjoy whatever you're doing. Don't be so negative when you're doing things, okay? Don't be, be happy, be smiling. Look at things in life. Whether you're on a TV show, whether you're on a radio show, you know, or whatever. Be happy, be strong, be uh, be very good for you. Can you get a hold of them? Uh, I don't have them. Oh, okay. There's no way we can do it that way, can we? No. Okay. Well, maybe he'll come in. But you know, the uh, governor, uh, president, all these people, the health commission, all these people, they're all working to help us to get better. And they're all working to say, you know what, you can get better. You know, and I think that's a good thing. We are going to get better. It's going to make us, this country is going to become a much stronger country as long as we all work together. Don't go, oh, this one doesn't like that one, that one doesn't like this one. You know, how about all united into one? How about we all unite into one and being loving as one? Anybody that would like to see or have a reading done or a couple card, two or three cards, give me a call. Spirit goddess. Not spirit guides, I'm sorry. Spirit guides are very important in our lives. Oh. Good afternoon, Norm Community Corner. Yes, hello, Norm. How you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, but you don't sound good to me. Where's your mask? Oh, I have it here. Why, you think you want to, I'll put it on for you. How's that? Well, you got to wear it. I wear them all the time, but not, not always in this. What, what does it mean, my mask? Wow, you're talking through the mic and everything, and all those germs are going everywhere. Oh, no, I'm way in the back. The mask is way, that is over there. Well, it isn't any good over there. Put it on. Just for you, I'll put it on. How's that? Do it for yourself, not for me. Yeah, yeah, that better. Yeah, I feel like a bandit. I'm the only one in the studio. That's all right, but you're spreading the germs if other people go in the studio. You know, well, that's okay. You can, you know what? When you're good, do you wear your mask? Do you wear your mask? I certainly do. Okay, yeah. Uh, when I'm in the studio by myself, I don't. But when I have other people yes, in here, I, I do. do. Good. When I go grocery shop, I wear my mask. You're supposed to wear it all times. No, that's not, li no, it's your choice. When I walk in the supermarket, like, when I walk into the, uh, um, what's that one over here, Scott? Oh, 
The market basket. Now you gotta write the whole counter down, the mic down, every single thing. I will take care of that, just for you, I promise. Don't yell at me. I'm not yelling. Okay. I'll make sure everything is sanitized before I leave. How's that? Okay, have a good day. Wow, you know, I am here by myself, and uh, last week I didn't, uh, we didn't wear a mask, but just, just for her, I'll wear my mask, okay? And I always make sure everything here is sanitized before I leave. And I'm sure that, you know, whatever I do, the breathing there, I constantly clean. See, I got the cleaning apparatus, you know? And, and you know, and that's fine. You know, and all these people, I, I don't know, that are not here, but I'll wear it just to make people happy. Okay. Do I wear it out in public on the street? No. Do I wear it when I go to the supermarket? Yes. They actually say a lot of times that if there's somebody on the street, you know, you don't need to wear it. You actually, you're not, you don't have to wear the mask. People are panicking. Be safe for you. If people, I was reading an article where if people have asthma or stuff like that, that the mask is more of a hindrance to a lot of people than it is to help them. Okay. So, um, you know, so I don't know what to tell you except to that. This for you, I wear the mask. My boy, is it hot wearing it? You know. Symposium. You know what? We're all together in this. Whether we're wearing masks, whether we're not wearing a mask, you know what? We're all. I don't touch people. I don't shake hands with people. Um, I just don't do it. Okay? They go there just as I go mine. Just when I go walking, I never wear a mask. I have one with me, but I don't wear it, especially when you're on the trails. I'm not telling you not to wear a mask, nor am I telling you to wear a mask. I am telling you, it has to be the perfect choice. But for this lady, I'll wear the mask. Okay? It I, I will wear it just for this lady. And for others who fear that I'm not going, that I'm unsanitary or whatever. Protection. I guess that's what she was talking about. But we can protect ourselves, and we can protect others. When there's nobody in the studio and all that stuff, and I don't know where she's coming from, but when she's in, in that protection, make sure you protect yourself. Make sure that you have a great protection around you. Safeguard you. If other people come, then put your mask on. Everything before I leave, everything here will be all sanitized and wiped down. Everything will be all wiped down before you leave. I did it the last time I was here, I, and I, you know, I wiped off the microphone that I used. I wiped off the phone and all the area where I was. I am conscientious about stuff like this. Okay, so I r truly am. I'm very conscientious about things that are going on. You know. And boy, is it warm in this studio, let me tell you, and that's okay. But walking down Elm Street and my heart was just so breaking because of the, um, the, 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 the virus that's going around. Nobody on the street. I felt like I was in one of those uh, old cowboy shows where they say the abandoned towns. I'm not going to talk for two hours, probably till five o'clock. I'm pretty sure Brandon can fix me up there. Brandon, can you find a Howie song from my show, or is it too late? Uh, it's too late. Okay, maybe next week, huh? Yeah, I, I don't think I can do it right now. Yeah, okay, that's okay. But uh, for all you people out there, trust me, I tr do try to safeguard me. For all of you people out there, I, I, I don't know. You're always going to get some of these people who are going to complain anyway, no matter what. I'm, th you know, I'm not going to wear gloves. Okay. But I will wear the mask, you know. I feel like I'm a bandit. You know. 
What was that all about? Gary's phone number. I want to text him. Yeah. See if he wants to come down. Yeah. 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 Okay. And because uh, he'll be coming on. Is G Gary coming in tonight? You know. Spirit heals, and it does. Spirit heals. People. Uh, instead of allowing their bodies to heal, they get paranoid, they get all blow, and all this. And don't get me wrong, I do take it seriously. My son has a touch of it right now. We just found out tonight, but he, the spirit is going to heal him. I know they are. He takes precautions. Even he was wearing a mask and, he, and all this stuff, he would not go without it. But he still got the virus. Can we can we take only take precaution? I, I wouldn't be at all surprised. Okay, but look at each other and just you know stay far apart from each other. I live in an apartment building. We say hi and that's it. We don't get close to each other. We don't talk to each other. Maybe occasional. And then the one thing when I went out and I mowed my lawn, and boy did it feel good going out there to mow my lawn. And out front too. Okay, and when people. I don't know if I can continue wearing this mask. When when people become overly cautious as well, and that's okay. But like I said before, we can do things to take care of ourselves. My my phone my microphone is back far enough so I don't have to worry about it. I'm not spitting. <coughs> I knew that. Good. I'm not uh, spitting, I'm not uh, doing anything like that. I'm just being very cautious and making sure my um, microphone is completely clean. We had the jar of the sanitized wipes. If anybody has any questions, please give us a call. If not, no, okay, I will close at five and we can find a rerun, I'm sure, knowing Brandon. I don't like it when people say, oh, we're going to be there, then they don't show up. I uh, talked to James, he has a TV show, he's a poet on here, and I talked to him and all, he was excited about coming on, and all of a sudden I guess they won't even answer their phone, and that's okay. I don't fit in with people, a lot of people. I have a lot of friends out there, a lot of them, but I don't fit in and I don't want to. I, I, I enjoy being my solitary self and having people come on my show as a guest. I enjoy that. I enjoy interviewing people and having readings done. I'm talking to people on the phone. I enjoy all of that. But as far as hanging around with people, no. I like being alone, and my roommate is the same way. You might have to call because he doesn't text, but, you know, you know and uh, so my house is pretty, pretty quiet, you know, it's just Scott and I and my cat. And we did a, it's a good day, a good week from cleaning your house out, cleaning up all the things that are going wrong. Remember, 2020, Towards the end, it's going to be a lot more healing. Twenty twenty is going to be a healing for everyone. I'm sure that people who are getting the, the checks are, are very happy about it. They're starting, you know, uh, sending with checks. You know, we'll you know make it all healthy here. And, you know, and just look around for yourself. Look around and be happy. Be strong for you. Wear your mask. If you're around a lot of people, I agree. My mask don't stay on too long. Wear your mask. Just be cautious of other people around you. Now we're going to talk about other things. Restaurants are starting to open up, folks. 
I see there night when he came by a Georgia on 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 the, on the corner of Second and Grand Street. They're opening up with picnic tables. A lot of restaurants are opening up out, out in the back with picnic tables, and they still have them come and go. Support your restaurants, they're saying. You know, and be kind to the people that are waiting on you. Be kind to each other. Vulnerability. We can all still be very vulnerable to different people. Are we vulnerable to ourselves? No answer. Uh, he's taking a hike out in the woods before he heads down here. Oh, okay. He does okay. what you do, takes long walks. Yeah, okay. Well, thing comes in and comes in, right? Yeah. But vulnerability. Aren't we all vulnerable to one thing or another? Aren't, don't we all have our own vulnerabilities? You know, we're, we're vulnerability, like with friendship, we're vulnerable to go to the market. We're vulnerable to each other and to the people. Being strong for each other. But the best one, the best thing that I like doing is walking, health-wise. We walked from my house down here to the studio. Okay, and we're going to walk home. And I enjoy it. Walking. I haven't been in the gym, don't need to. I do a lot of my own walking, going outside and just walking around the park, walking down by the river, and just walking. Discord. This country is in such a discord or in such a chaotic mess that they forget who they are and they forget to take care of themselves. This one's right, that one's wrong, this one's right, that one's wrong. You know, get together and make everything right for each other. That's the best I can tell you, you know. Get together and hang on to each other. When you go by someone, you don't have to hug them, you don't have to hold their hand, just say hi. Say hi. Or smile. When I do my walk and I see people, I walk way off the, the path there onto the grass because I'm, I'm conscious that we have to be six feet apart. But a lot of the people that are even walking are not six feet uh, from each other. They're still walking and walking. Norm, community corner. Yes, hi. Can hi. I speak to Norm for a minute? I am here. Hi, Norm. Hi. Um, this is Barbara. I'm calling in to say thank you for bringing us this program at this time. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, um, I really appreciate your perspective on everything. Uh -huh. And um, I'm just curious. I'm just curious um, as to um, what you think about the different scenarios each day that are presented to us. Like one day, Dr. Fauci says the masks don't really do any good, and the next day they're telling us we, we need to wear the masks. Yeah. And then one day they say we can, you know, we can go to a grocery store, but the next day they say we can't go to a coffee shop where actually there may be fewer people. And, and and we can't go to work, but we, you know, we can congregate here. And we can't go to the beach where the salt air, if, if anybody understands chemistry, right. is one of the most healing and cleansing things uh -huh. that we can, um, that we can absorb as human beings. I, 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 I am very confused and conflicted, and I just would like to hear your perspective on this because I know you are a very um, thoughtful person, mm -hmm. and as much as I want and I try and I am being considerate of mm -hmm. my neighbor because I certainly would not want to intentionally or unintentionally inflict any illness or anything upon them, I'm, I'm very concerned at the conflicting messages that are coming down from our government, especially from people who are not elected, who have no accountability, right. 
who seem to be seem to be telling seem to be the persons in charge. Right. So I'd like to just have your perspective on that, and God bless you, and thank, thank you. you for all you do and oh. for your diligence in having this program. Thank you very much. One of the things I will tell you, Barbara, that I am very concerned because, like you just said, media doesn't help. No. Media love the chaos it's creating. <coughs> Excuse me. It's right in here. Media. I grew up in the 60s, Norm. I don't know oh, about me you. too. I grew up in the 60s in Vietnam. Yeah. And we questioned everything. And I'm like, where are my brothers and sisters? I, <laughs> the yeah, I agree. In the 60s that are like, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. You know, you... you I was Verify. a flower. Well, I was a flower Verify child. You remember? Yeah, you remember the flower child? Yes. I was <laughs> one of them. I protested everything. Didn't know what I was protesting, but that was okay. But you know what? We didn't talk about violence with each other. And one of the things that I am heartbroken over, and I think it's so wrong, 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 is not being allowed to go to the beach. That's incredible. Because it's we need that space. salt water energy. Yeah, but we can all go to Home Depot, which is enclosed. <laughs> <Does that make laughs> isn't, I, isn't that kind of contradicting what they're saying? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm, I, I'm yeah, sorry, that, but I don't I mean, agree. I don't mean to be disrespectful. No. And I, I, I certainly am saddened. Yeah. And I send, and I pray for all the people that succumb to this because yeah. I'm sure it was. You know, a very, uh, especially since none of their relatives could even be with them as right. they were going home to the Lord. Right. You know, in the in the various nursing homes where they were and ever. Yeah. But this doesn't make sense no, to me. I, and you that's, know, I guess, what I'm struggling yeah, with. Yeah. It's and not I, that I don't want to be patriotic, and it's not that I don't want to. Do the right thing, Norm. Yeah. I want to do the right thing, and I think you do too, right? Oh, do the right thing for yourself. You know, the one thing that bothers me, Barbara, is, and I'm very disturbed about it, is, is do you have a loved one that's in a nursing home or in the hospital and they're uh, ready to go to the other side? Why can't they allow them to wear gloves? Why right. can't they wear a hat? Why can't right. they wear a mask and walk in there? The right. hospital uh, administration... You know, don't get me wrong. I think the nurses and the doctors are fantastic. Oh, you know. uh, first responders. You know. Yeah. I I give them praise. I yeah. pray for them every night, yeah. Norm. But I I, I think that but they holding are on you, the front lines and they, and all, none of us really have any idea what any of this is about or no. where it came from. No. I think there's a lot of information out there that's not being given to oh, us. You know the sad part, Barbara? You're absolutely right. We're never, ever going to know the whole truth. You, the people on this side can blame this party, this party on this side. But this has been going on for years. This, mm -hmm. this coronavirus Amen. has been going on for even before Trump was president. And I also will say even before Obama was president. Yep. But it was all hidden. It was all kept a secret. Finally, there was no more way of hiding this disease. Do I think it was man made? Yes. Do I don't yes. I don't think it I came agree. just from I don't think it came just from China either. No, I don't either. Yeah. You know. And, I don't either. And I, I I you know, it's it is sad as a country that has freedom of speech. Right. And and everything else that we yeah. don't understand right. the whole truth. Right. The problem with that is that try to take everything away from it. You know who Nostradamus is, right? Yes. Okay. Nostradamus, and if you compare it with Revelations in the Bible, says that man. I'm more. I'm. I, Norm. I have to say, I'm more connected with Revelations than I am Nostradamus, but yeah, I understand right. there's a parallel. Absolutely. You read my thought, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a messenger from Nostradamus, and what I've been told by different readers, the, huh? Nostradamus has said, and you read Revelations, that men will destroy themselves. Right. And this is already beginning. The insects are going to also destroy it. Now they got, what is it, killer hornets that they're coming in from Japan, they say? 
Yeah, that, I saw that. Yeah, That's you know. crazy. Isn't it scary? You know? Yeah. Because I don't yeah. want to see that happen. You know, we no, really well, don't. And I think, I think as, as free-thinking human beings, if we recognize that there's a problem, mm -hmm. we should be able to have a remedy. Right. You know, it's yeah. like and it's is. like my dad used to say, and uh, he's God rest his soul. He's been dead for a long time, but he's like, build a better mousetrap. If there's something in front of you that is a conflict, figure it out and build the b better mousetrap and figure it out. Right. By the way, your dad's saying hi to you. Is he? Yeah. He's also telling me he agrees with what you're saying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. He also, if I may say also, he's also, he had a mind of his own, didn't he? He was a very strong personality. Right. Yes. But he also is a very kind man. Yes. Just don't try to argue with him because you'll never win. Well, um, on the surface maybe, but he never, he always thought about what you said. Right, yeah. Another what I'm seeing is when he knows what's going on, he you're not going to out argue him. No, no. He he was um he actually was a very strong public servant. Uh -huh. I don't Thank you. I don't know if you know who I am or who he was, but he actually was a very strong public servant. Uh -huh. And he stood up against the telephone company and public service of New Hampshire and a lot of entities, and he be when he believed in what he believed in, he didn't care. No. He didn't care who uh, challenged him in the you know the judicial side of things. Right. And unfortunately, I've been cursed and blessed with his <laughs> with his with his. Seeing, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's yeah. like I, I, I grew up as an orphan, but I also have my mother's, uh, my real mother, uh, uh, her father is the one who's my backbone and gives me, you yeah. know, I never met him, is the one that said, you go for it. Never in yeah. a million years would I have ever dreamt uh, 24 years ago, because I've been on now 21 years, uh, have I, what I've ever dreamt that I would never have a show like that. It may not be a big nationally known TV, but I love what I'm doing, just like you love what you're doing. Yeah, no, no, God bless you yeah. for what you're doing. Yeah. I think we need people like you. Thank you. And whether or not people agree with you, huh. uh, you know, on a yeah. on a show to show basis. Right. You're bringing an opinion, and my dad used to say this. He was um, he wrote editorials and he had commentaries on the radio, and he used to say, "I don't care if you agree with me or oh, not. I don't either. I'm trying to make you think. Right. I'm trying to make you think. Don't just sit there and drink Kool Aid. Right. You know. So I admire you for Thank you. for. Tremendously. Thank you for coming together. How about you coming on my? On my how about you coming on my show as a guest? Oh, thank you. Well, I I would like to do that at some time. Thank you very much. Okay. Can you Facebook me and I can put you in? Pardon me. If you want to contact me or Facebook me, so I can look at my calendar, and I'll have you come sure. in. That's it. I'd love to have you because you and I are on the same page. And I don't mean, well, <laughs> we, we, we may not be in a political same page, but you know the sad part is with people? I make a lot of enemies because of my political views. And that's okay. Yeah, it's not, but they're my it's views. not politically. I think we have to, I think at this juncture, we have to look at it yeah. on a humanitarian yeah. level. And I don't think people are doing that. No. And I also, what is discouraging? I grew up in the 60s, uh -huh. so I'm going to date myself. I grew yeah. up in the 60s, yeah. and the 60s was trust but verify, right. trust but verify. Yeah. We're not doing that right now. No. We're, well, just, we're, we're just taking it as gospel. Uh -huh. We're not asking questions, yeah. and we're letting many unelected authorities tell us what's going on here. Right. 
and they have no accountability and I'm sad. I'm sad about that. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, uh, I, I think we I think it it diminishes our intellectual God given rights. Right. And, and that's where I'm coming from. Yeah, don't you feel that they, that everybody think you know, we have the the right, the First Amendment right, to speak our opinion? What and, and they don't have to agree with me. No, I, I would find no. it rather boring if everybody agreed with me. No, you know, and that's not what that's not what the Creator intended. Oh, either, absolutely is no, it? no, you know, no, not at all, you know, and. I've thought about running for political office, but I don't think I'd be happy because I'm not going to fall. Well, I, I'd have it's to fall. It's not a fun place to be, Norm. No. I served no. two yeah. terms as yeah. the New Hampshire state representative. Right. It's not a fun right. place yeah. to yeah. be. I'm recognizing your voice, but I don't recognize your last name, and that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, but what I what I do say is that people out there, whether you're Republican or Democrat, don't allow that people, the elected people, to tell you what you can do and what you cannot do. Don't allow well, them to no take your freedom of speech. But there's a difference here, and I respectfully interrupt you. Oh, sure. To have an elected president or an elected senator yeah. or an elected representative tell you what needs to be done is one thing, because you have elected them, yeah. and if you disagree with them, you can vote them out of office. Yeah. This Dr. Fauci yeah. is from, he's not elected. No. And neither is Dr. Bricks. No. And neither are some of these people from the World Health Organization. Yeah. They're, they have nothing to do with our, with our, with our blessed yeah. uh, constitutional republic. Right. They're dictating to us on another level and you know what we maybe should weigh what they are saying mm -hmm. but for them to have the authoritating how authoritating i'm not saying this right well, well for them to yeah, have I know, some yeah. kind of authority yeah. power over us yeah. to tell us that this is what bill gates he's oh. elected nothing no he's elected nothing no how do these people come into our constitutional republic where your freedoms and my freedoms are sacred and they are God given mm -hmm. and they and they unelectedly and with no consequences with no consequences whatsoever for their actions right get to tell us what to do. This is what is driving me crazy in all and, of this. And, actually, and it's horrifying. It is. Because people, uh, people, are we as people, you know, are we lambs being led by the wolf? Well, are we sheep or yeah. are we, yeah, yeah that's what exactly. I meant. You know, yeah, We're sheep. You know. Stand yeah. up. This is bad, but I love it. I could talk with you for, if you've got another half hour, darling, I could talk to you for another half hour. <laughs> You know? <laughs> but you're wonderful. I love but, I love but, watching you. Yeah, yeah. I admire that you come yeah. each time and you have your show and I am so grateful for Manchester Community Television. Oh, and me too. I, I used that, to have yeah. a program. I had to give it up. My I gave it up when my mom passed away and I haven't come back yet. I well, want time to come, come back. back. I just haven't been able to connect with the right people but thank you you're most right. gracious and i am humbled right. by your um one of the things that i by your compliment right. i don't uh, always you know the one thing the people have got to remember this when you complain about the people that you elected and you keep re-electing re them. them yeah isn't it yeah. the people's fault for keep voting them in Exactly. You don't, exactly. don't talk to talk unless you're going to do the walk. We have some 445. Charlie Rice, who was an amazing mm -hmm. um, writer, and mm -hmm. he, uh, if you want to go Google him sometime, yeah. Yeah. he said 400, 445 people are making um, the path for those of us who are subjected under 
you know, United States Constitution, et cetera. Right. Right. They're not doing their jobs, whether they're no, Republican they're or they're Democrat. Democrat yeah. no, they're they're not. not doing their jobs. They have all sworn, sworn an oath to the Constitution of the United States of America, yeah. both against enemies of foreign and domestic. Yeah. And I think we forget there are domestic enemies. Yeah. We don't like to think about that, but there are. There are people that resent the fact that we are a constitutional republic and that we have certain rights under our constitution. Stop taking and them away from us. Yeah. They they want to wipe us out. Yeah. And when I, when I read today and when I'm watching, I'm watching on YouTube the different interviews that people are doing, uh, individuals are doing with Bill Gates. Yeah. And he's got this big, happy Cheshire smile on his face. Oh, isn't that disgusting? It is. And he's going, his foundation is funding the, the vaccines that could, they're going to mandate that you and I have to take. I'm not going to take it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I my religious beliefs. I I I am by my religious freedoms, First Amendment, First Amendment rights. I reject your insertion that you're going to inject me with some kind of a vaccine. First of all, I don't know what the heck is in it. I, I, I do not take the flu shots. I do not. Never. No. no. I, I took one one time. I was sicker than ever. And then. You know. I'm you not know, going Norm, to, I, no. that anybody who has taken a flu shot in the last 10 years test, will test positive for yep. COVID-19. Yeah. Yeah. My son had you a flu that? shot. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. He, yeah. My son had it. He got tested today. He got his results yep. back today. You know. I think yeah. that they're going. Uh, do I think they're getting carried away with the testing? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, there's something else going on here. There has always been. I mean, Norm, I I don't know how. I don't know where you are in this, but I go back to the very beginning of time in the Garden of Eden. Yeah. When Eve was tempted because there was somebody that wanted to usurp. The order, the, the creator's order. Right. And tempted her because, uh, you know, yeah. she was vulnerable. And then she tempted Adam, and Adam was vulnerable. We're all vulnerable. We all are in a battle against what is good and what is not. See, I believe and, that, yeah. <clears throat> One of the things yeah, that I'm looking at. I think we have it. to be very, I think we have to be very vigilant. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for your oh, time. Oh, God no, hang in there. One of the things I, that I, I see if you agree with me is, you know, they talk about mobs, gangs, mobs. They talk about the mafia. They talk about, hasn't they, haven't we always had diseases from yes. centuries ago? Yes, of course. Oh, my, my no. grandmother grew up in the potato famine, for God's sake. Yeah. Yes. Mala yes. Malaria. Um, smallpox, yeah. everything had, we've always had all kinds I of had, sicknesses. I had as a child one of the worst cases of chicken pox oh, that anybody could ever have yeah, had. Yeah. I was in kindergarten at the time, and I couldn't, I, I couldn't go back to kindergarten until all the scabs had healed. Yet, mm -hmm. my mother had friends. Uh, friend, uh, my mother had mothers who were friends, who were mothers of friends of mine, yeah. who were calling up to ask her to please let me come over and play with their children so that they could, <clears throat> so that we could have the herd immunity. And one of them was my best friend's mother, Di Diane, my best mm -hmm. friend at the time was Diane, and I'm not going to say her last name, no. but her mother was a nurse, and she called my mother, and she said, can Barbara please come over? And my mother said, Barbara's got really bad chicken pox, she's been sick, she's got scabs all over her, and her mother was a nurse, and she said, I know, she said, I want, 
my son and my daughter to be exposed to her because if the if if my son and my daughter are exposed to her and they get the and they get the chickenpox disease that way the results will be less than it'll be her, uh, uh, an Im- herd immunity result and so my mother said, are you sure? You know, and, yeah. and I looked at my mother and I said, Mom, I've been sick. Sister said, I can't come back to school. Why am I going over to my friend's house? Yeah. Well, because your friend wants you to come over. So I said, okay, because I hadn't seen anybody in two weeks. So yeah. I was like ecstatic that I could go yeah. see somebody. So I went over and we had lunch and we had a play date. and It, it was all over and fine. And her and her brother had the chicken pox, but they had it at a much less um, intensity than what I had had it because of the exposure. We, uh, science and the, the, the health community has become very powerful since that time norm. Oh, absolutely. And they have, have put, a, they have put us into a situation where you have to follow the money for them, yeah. and the money is what's important to them. It's not our health, and it's not our security, and it's not our safety, and it's not finding um, that they're not, they don't have our best interests at heart, I guess is what yeah, I want yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. I was it's four- very yeah, sad. Yeah. I was 14 when I got the measles. <laughs> <laughs> I was living, we had just been, you remember that TV show, The Secret Storm? Yes. Okay. My mother, my foster mother, my, I call her my mother because it's mother, but mother was like her. I had a great mother, you know. And I can remember sitting there, and I'm sitting there, and I miss you. She says, lift your shirt up. I go, no, there's people in the house, you know. At that time, I was <laughs> modest because, you know. So I lifted up my shirt, and she says, you got the measles. I go, what is that? You know, I didn't, know, and I was right. quarantined, and they were not, and I wasn't very well liked at school anyway, so that's okay. But they would not let me come back to school for 24 days. Yeah. And, they, and I did have to do my homework. I didn't think that was very fair, but I did it anyway, <laughs> you know. And, can I ask you a question without, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Oh, no, can no. Can I ask you just a simple question? Sure. I'm watching you on TV now. Yeah. Is anyone in the studio with you? Yes, my roommate. Okay, because you have a mask on. Yeah, I got a couple, I got a phone on. I don't like wearing. I usually don't wear them. But well, uh, but who what who are you protecting from? Because your roommate lives with you, right? Oh yeah, I couldn't ask and for a better roommate. Well, I, I did it to not, make please, this lady that called in happy. Please understand, I'm not trying to embarrass you. Oh, no, you're not. But I'm just trying to follow logic here. Yeah. Do you wear your mask at home? No. Okay. So isn't this crazy, Norm? Yeah, yeah people are getting too carried away it with the mask deal. make Thank you. sense to me. Yeah, thank you. God bless you. Yeah. I'm going to go now because oh, okay. I have something I have to do, yeah. but I really yeah. appreciate it. Okay, do me a favor. Facebook, yeah, do me a favor. Facebook, yeah. And uh, I appreciate your yeah, yeah, um, yeah, program. Yeah, thank you. And hey. um, I hope more people will think about this because we are given intelligence by right. the Creator to think. Right. Do and me a favor. I, I don't think we're using it very well. No. Facebook me or my home. Give me a home. Uh, my phone. I'm going to give you my home phone. Two eight. Okay. Okay. Two eight nine. Yeah. Four seven eight nine, and we'll get you in in the next three weeks. I would love that. Because, God bless you. you. Know, yeah, let's raise hell with the people out there. What do you think? Well, I, you know, I think we have to. I think I think we uh, we can't just be silent because if we be silent, we're going to We, uh, To me, and I've always been this way, and it's because of my dad. Right. If you don't, if you know, and my grandmother, my, my grandmother on my mother's side used to say, Black is black and white is white, and don't tell me black is white. Yeah. Always say that. You know what? My force of mother used to. If we what don't some, yeah. stand up and, and make those distinctions, yeah. we're going to get mowed over. Yeah. We are going to get mowed over. What you over. just said, you quoted what my force of mother used to say, too. 
She was a director of nursing at New London Hospital in New London, New Hampshire. Yeah. And let me tell you, she was the old fashioned. You wore your, the women wore their uniforms like a little bit below their knee. They didn't wear them high, they wore them low. And they wore white uniforms and they wore their caps and they wore their white stockings. You know, yeah. today they don't wear. I don't know. And they wore them proudly. Oh, Bob. absolutely. When I was a nurse, I wore my white shirt, my black tie, you know. I would probably be in a You nurse. wore it proudly. I sure did. I worked hard for that. I even bought a cap. that had, It wouldn't stay on my head, but I bought one anyways. Because I have to be different. I even wore, I even got a cape. Boy, the director of nursing when, uh, on the school that I went to, they were not happy with me wearing a cape. But that cape was warm. You know, okay. So give me a call so I can get you on. I'd love to, cause we have a, you and I have a lot of ide uh, ideas, and we think a lot of like, but we're also not afraid to express our opinion. And that's what I want the American people to do, or un-American. I don't care who you are. Yeah. Express yeah. you exactly. have. Exactly. God bless. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, and you have, have a, a great day, day as well. Yeah. You too. Much love. Bye. And remember, Bye. you're the winner. You know. But ladies and gentlemen, Barbara, I'm, I'm looking forward to her giving me a call. So, oh, yeah. That always helps when you shut the phone off, right? You know. And, you know, and she made a lot of sense, folks. We can. We can fight back with these people who are trying to take our rights away. When they're trying to take a, a Second Amendment right away. Or when they're trying to take away your freedom of speech. Because when I go on Facebook, if they don't like something that you might write, they call you in the Facebook jail over there because they just they uh, shut it down. Okay, no one has a right to take your opinions away from you. Only you. No one has a right to take your Second Amendment right away. I do not believe in the mail in voting unless you are disabled and what they call it, absentee voting. Am yeah. I correct? Yeah, absentee voting. No one has the right to take that away. Well, she's got me well right up. You see that, huh? You know, and no, thank you, Bob. No one has the right to take you away from you. When these people that come on that have their own TV shows, they express how they feel. No one has the right to take that away from them. When you have a guest on your show, you got to remember, though, whomever you have or call in on your show, remember this, you are responsible for their actions. So when Mary called, Mary, my very good friend Mary, she had her show, we'll wish her a speedy recovery, but Mary and I both say, if you can't talk positive about somebody, don't call in. I don't want to waste my time talking to negative energy. I don't have that time. I do have a right to disagree with what's going on, and so don't you. When I, I don't agree with what's happening, I don't know what's happening with the homeless people. I don't hear anything about them anymore. If somebody does know, please give me a call. We can talk about it. Don't shun people under the rug. Everybody needs help in one way or the other. Everybody. You do, I do, we all do, you know. Good afternoon. Welcome to North Community Quarter. Hi, Norm. How you guys doing? Hey, I'm doing very well. Your friend Jim didn't yeah. show up. Yeah, well, I, I sent you a message because they're very sick, both of them. Oh, okay. Because Mary called, because I sent you a message because I, I don't even know if they're probably in the hospital. Because they're very, very sick, both of them. Oh, no. Could, see, I didn't yeah. know that. Okay, well, we'll send them a lot of spiritual healing. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mike has yeah, us. So I hope they're, they're doing better, you know, because she yeah. called and she didn't sound very good either. Yeah, yeah. Like well, I'm going to have them stay home and stay safe. And she's coughing, and I said, yes, I will notify you Yeah. Uh, did you read Facebook? My son has... Uh, no, it 19. Yes, yeah. he's got the virus. Oh, my God, my prayers go out for both of them. Yeah, but she, Tammy doesn't, and my granddaughter don't, but they, yeah. they say that he'll be okay within three days, but they want him quarantined for 10 days. 
Yeah, you get, they want you really 14 days just to be sure. Yeah, yeah 14. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, you know. How are you doing? Better than I have. Uh, I go outside, you know, and I'm all start sneezing because the hay fever is acting yeah. up and everything else. So what are you going to do? <laughs> well, don't you think a lot yeah. of the, when they pollen in the air and uh, and all that negative energy that's in the air help to create that chronic virus? No, I think that's like the flu. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion. <coughs> uh, you know, to me, I think it was similar to a flu yeah. that got out of hand. You know, and like <coughs> like the lady that was on it previously, was Barbara. Worse than the flu. That's yeah. all it was. You this know? has been going. If you think about all these different diseases that have been going on for years and years and years and years, and they're coming up with all kinds of new names. Yeah. You know, and do yeah. I think this is going to stop? Yes. Do I think it's going to be settled out? Probably even by June. But do I think, I'm looking at in either October or November, uh, we're going to get one more hit of a very heavy, heavy uh, virus. Yeah, that's what the, the, I like that doctor that comes on with the classic. I never think of his name. For it, and uh, he's just the same thing. There's going to be another wave coming out. Oh, yeah. And the sad part is most yeah. of the people knew about it when they're, you know, yeah. and, and that's the sad part. Most of the people who are in so-called like Barbara and I were just talking. And I know Barbara. She's a sweet lady. Yeah, she's going to be coming on my show, and I'm looking forward yeah, to that. Is. She's you a know. sweet person. She sure is. And she's, yeah. you know, I think you and I and her are on the way on the same wavelength. Yeah, and you know, stuff, you know, because when I go out, like you know, I have three doctors that call me last week and this week, and everything, and uh, they, you know, they call me the um, what that would they call me, uh, ten most wanted list. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> she's the reason why, because Mary, you got so much going on with you. We got to keep an eye on you. <laughs> yeah. Mary, you want to tell them who you are and the name of your show? Yeah, Cruiser with Mary. I'm on every Thursday at 5 o'clock, but I'm not, you'll see a video in there. Uh -huh. um, but I am not, uh, until everybody starts dying down, my doctor, I, I asked her, she said, maybe we'll see what happens. Yeah. At the end of the month, maybe June, because right now it's flaring up yeah. again. Um, you know, I have my, I heard somebody talking, uh, yes, I do. I wear my mask when I go out. Yeah. Uh, I go, I got gloves because I, you know, a lot of people who have different things like me, I got too much going on with me right now. Yeah. I cannot afford to get oh, anything no, like no, that. No, no. You and I find you disturbing, know? Mary, when I go to the market basket over here on South Elm Street. And I find it because yeah. they're not required, but they should. Most of the employees are doing it. But when I see the adults wearing the mask and the children aren't, I think the children should be wearing the mask as well. Yes, I agree with that. Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, when you wear your mask, they look at you like you're something from out of space. Yeah, and let well, them. I don't care. I'm going to wear my mask when I do shopping. I do anything. If they don't like it, it's too bad. Oh, well. I'm protecting myself. That's right, you know, and you're actually protecting you know? the others. When I go grocery shopping, even though yeah. I haven't, I, I have trouble breathing. I have one side of my nose, and I can breathe yeah, out I can of. I can see it. I can see you're having a hard time. Yeah. And mom, take yeah. care of yourself. You're not looking good. Oh. I, I mean, I'm telling you like it is. Yeah. Please take care of yourself. Oh, I am. You know what, Mary? We walked here from my house up to here. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Scott and I got to walk back. Yeah. I actually have done a lot more energy work, uh, working on myself, and I've actually done a lot more walking. And, Mary, I have. I mean, I became a he-man. I mowed my lawn out back. <laughs> oh, was I tired. <laughs> you didn't break any of your nails, did you know? Well, I had to replace one of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then I, re and I did the out front. Again. Yeah. But how are my babies doing over there? Uh, they're all doing good, except for my Ladinia. She, she, I don't know what's going on with her, but she's not feeling good again. Uh huh. Yeah. Half my, half my chicken. Take it away from me, or what? You know. Yeah. How's my chicken stealer doing? That seems like she's gaining more weight. Oh, oh. my God! She's, Folks, this is my very good know. friend Mary, and cruising with Mary. 
she has cats, and I've actually heard them, haven't you, Scott, that actually talk to her. Yeah, and they talk to you? Yep, they do. Yeah. And she has one hey, that well, watches my show. Like it. Yeah, and yeah. when I when I buy Mary chicken when she gets when she can and gets me a ride home, <laughs> that cat has to have her share first. Oh yes, I don't care. She's right there waiting. She smells it, <laughs> and, I, and taking pictures where I forgot someone called me. I forgot the chicken on the table, <laughs> and she there's a chair that I put for her so she can sit there and wait. <laughs> and she'll jump on that chair, and she'll look over, and she'll get that chicken and take a bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and dare you to take away. Now, she, is that the one that yeah, has to have the butter? I take it away from her. Oh, my God. Yeah. She, she'll holler at me and holler at me like yeah. that. That's my chicken. <laughs> yeah. You know. Well, our big boy is coming in now. He's been sleeping inside me on the couch during the day. Uh, of course, he's sleeping Scott, and he goes out. He's back to his own wandering himself again. I love it, but, uh -oh. you know. <laughs> I the one thing I gotta tell you, and even though I'm walking, I meet people. I walk when people come by me. I we have a uh, asphalt path, but I but I walk on the grass so I don't go near the people because I yeah. feel I have to keep myself fit safe. If I don't yeah. take care of myself, no one else is going to. Yeah, you're right. You know? You're right. If yeah. no one else does, you have to take care of yourself. And that's yeah. true. I got one of those air fryers, and I love it. Yeah, how do you like it? We really do, huh, Scott? Yeah. Scott uses it. My son uh, on an air fryer was supposed to be delivering today by yeah. FedEx, and they said they delivered it. He has not and did not receive it today. Oh, wow. Well, everything's on back on it. Just yeah. like I have, it's called a windscreen. Right. For a mic. Yeah. That can come off, and you can take it, you know, wash it, hang it up, let it dry, and use it over. Right. Over with it. So right. that's even on back order right now yeah. for that screen to go on the Gloves. Yeah, my son got, got some more gloves coming and masks coming. They're on back order too. Yeah. I'm not telling people not to wear gloves. I'm not telling people not to wear masks. When I am telling you, let your conscience be your guide. Yeah. Yeah. I, but you should. I don't care. I mean, I'm saying it like it is. It's, yeah. it's my opinion. Yeah. When you go out, you need to wear a mask. I mean, that's protection for you. And the other and people. people around yeah. you who don't wear it. Yeah. you got to protect yourself. Yeah. From, I, I don't care what it is. You have to protect yourself. If you don't, nobody else will. No. That's why I'm always dismayed when I go grocery shopping. I can't wait to get out when I go in the, the market or, some of the, or one of the stores. I cannot wait to get back out. Because yeah. I go in there and I do yeah. what I gotta it's do when like I come tomorrow. back. Home. I have to go out tomorrow, uh -huh. and I have to go. I had my pills on order, so they call today. Let me know my hot pills because I'll be out of them tomorrow. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. And, and you know this whole tomorrow they're gonna be in. Yeah. The whole world resolve, revolves about the medical or pharmaceutical company. Oh my God! You know there's still you know like people are stealing toilet paper and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Now they're going. You know, I don't know what's getting into people, but it's food now. They're, they're hoarding food. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I have, uh, when, if people need something, give me a call. I'll be very happy to pick you yeah, up a bag. I'll, I'll do the same and, thing. And I'll set it out on the floor or out by you. Come by and pick it up. I'll be very happy to help you. Yeah, I'll make spaghetti. I'll make anything for them. Oh, Mary, I just, you know, made, Scott and I made, way, you know? yeah, we just made some homemade baked beans, chili beans. Did you? Yeah. yeah. No one, folks, let me tell you right now, no one makes homemade baked beans like Mary LeMay does. <laughs> Thank you. When we have our event, I'm canceling my September event because of the coronavirus, but when we have events, Mary makes the most awesome beans, and they go very quickly. You made, what, two crock pots? I, I made two of them, yep. two big uh, yep. crocks. And I had two plus that time. I had yep. chili I made, yep. and I made the uh, Portuguese uh, stew yep. that time. And they all went quickly. It know. went quick, yeah. yeah. Boy, you know the yep. one thing that I do miss, Mary, is you and I and Mike and Tammy and Scott and the, getting together and having our cookouts. I'll be glad when we can all start doing that again. Yeah, yeah. It'll be, you know, we'll see what happens as it gets warmer right oh, now. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's leveling. Yeah. But... We'll see what happens when 
you know, who knows, God yeah. forbid, you know, if it's, if minute we get some heat, yeah. who knows what's yeah. going to happen. Folks, don't but, uh, give up. Yeah. It's going to get better. The, the old saying is stay home, and I guess what I do. I yeah, stay home and stay healthy. Too, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. The only thing I don't agree with, Mary, you know, is that they're shutting down the beaches. I uh, do. I do, know them. You know why? Because you have people, they don't even know they're carriers, and that's yeah. the truth. Yeah. People could be carriers and not think, oh, I ain't think I only yeah. got a cold. Yeah. But they could have it, and they're there passing it on to every. Mm -hmm. You imagine that that place was, you know, yeah. hundreds of people. Right. Well, I guess and what I'm trying to say is, yeah, to do it. yeah, I don't agree with congregating on there. No, tightly. Yeah. But what I but do, do, you know, they're going to do it now. You're right, and that's it. Like I look at my over that park where I live, Mary, and yeah. they don't care. That's it, mom. That's why they can't open up the beaches. Right. I look. I told the kid there were some kids there, and I said, you know, there's a sign there. You should not be in that park. And what they said to me was, Mary, if you and I were kids and our parents heard how them children talked back to me, we would have been in the corner somewhere. Yes. They, that yes. famous F word That's came out. That's what I mean. The younger generation don't care. No. Nope. They've been on TV, Norm. I yep. don't know if you've seen it, but I've seen it on TV. Yep. They were interviewing some people. And one woman, and then she had kids. I don't care if we get sick. If we die, I'm going to have my way. Right. I'm going to enjoy myself. I, you can't think like that. No. These I said, times are too dangerous. You know? I, I said to one lady, why are you allowing your children to play in the park when there's yeah. a sign there, no playing? She said, like you just said, I don't speak English, but I knew she did. Yeah, of course. Of you course. know, I said, well, if your children get sick, you can't blame anybody else but yourself. That's right. Yeah, and when, right. when I do my walk, Mary, every one of us that I have met, everybody that's in that walk, we are very respectful of each other. We walk way, way apart. I walk in the grass. That's good. You have to respect yep. each other. Yep. But you know what I know. People won't do it. Nope. There's a lot of people that won't. They're going to take it and say, hey, I'll do what I want. Yeah, and they sure do. And you know, But those are yeah. the ones who get sick. Like when my son, he was... He wore the mask, he wears the gloves, even outside in the backyard. And I guess someone where he works, his girl, yeah. one of the guy's girlfriend had the sickness, and he came in, now he's home with a sickness, and it makes me wonder how many other people like my son were exposed to this. That's it, there you go. That's why, you know, you have to take, right now the tests are for nothing. You can have it, you know, right. go have it done. Yep. And I agree people should, because you don't know if you're a carrier or not. Right. You know. You know? You know, you know. Uh, now, one thing that you and I are married, we're carriers of positive energy and love. Yeah. Yeah. you yeah. got to have that. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, if you don't have yeah. it, then, yeah. you know, it, it's just too bad for some people that, you know, that think that, oh, not me, yeah. you know? My our very good friend, Father Paul, has been sick for a week. Has he? Oh yeah. my gosh! But give he, him my blessing. I sure will. He's doing a lot better. He had a, a, a bowel constriction that finally miracles of the angels work, folks. If you believe in the angel, he, he yes, was getting ready to do. call his doctor, and because he, he couldn't move his bowels, and he oh woke up God, at three yeah. o'clock in the morning. And let me tell you, he wrote me. He called me at three thirty in the morning. He said, "I feel so much better." I said, "What happened?" He told me. He just said, Hell, his room felt bad because of it. I said, well, open your windows. One of the things I encourage people to do, as you know, Mary, open your windows. Yes, let the fresh air in today. and let the negative energy out. And I bet yeah. your kitty cats like the windows open, too. Oh, yeah, they love when the windows open. They you, love that. Yeah. You know, folks, as I'm like sitting here. Yeah. squirrels out here. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, as I've sat here talking, my daughter-in-law does not like carrots. You agree, Mary? Yes, so I know she don't. <laughs> yeah. But Mary makes these carrots. I don't know what she does to them, but let me tell the Canadian you, Canadian carrots. Is that what they are? I might want. If I'm lucky, yeah. I might get a bite. But then she'll say, "Mary made them for me." <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, and it's awesome. You know, but you know, but folks, please. If Mary will tell you, 
I'm going to tell you, I may not wear my mask, but everything is sanitized before I leave. I'll do the whole table. But please take precautions. Take care of you so that you don't pass on whatever's going on and don't allow other people. Don't shake their hand. Don't hug them. That's my problem, Mary, is I can't shake their hands. I and know. I, you know, I saw Bev and Dick today. Yeah. How are they doing? And uh, they're doing good. And it hurt me. Where I could, you know, we couldn't hug each other. Mm-hmm. And you and I like We'd always yeah. hug each other, you know. And that hurt me where I couldn't hug her and she couldn't hug me. Right. By the way, Mary and I get married on the second Tuesday in November. Yeah, the, the second Tuesday of next week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people haven't caught up with that one. <laughs> no, and how many people were serious about it, Mary? I know. I mean, you remember when somebody called up and said, no, you're not. Yeah, <laughs> you're yeah, they, they were going to stop our marriage here, folks, you know. <laughs> but uh, I do uh, I do know that when we start our cook, I'm looking at probably by the end of June, early July, we'll be able to start having our cookouts again. Yeah. And it's, it's Boy, do I miss playing Scrabble. You know, yeah. you know, my daughter-in-law used to come over every other night. We would have dinner. They would have a game of Scrabble. But I think she, Scott, like you said, maybe cheated a little bit. You know what I mean. Mary and I never yeah. wanted it. Oh, yeah. They used to, used to use, uh, especially she used to use the pencil. Yeah. She was the pencil pusher. But then we had fun. Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we did. And that's what the whole thing is about. Yeah. You know, I, 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 you know, unfortunately, we're not, we don't have a, now, and I really miss it, for what, three months now, Scott? Yeah. In about three months. But I'm, I'm adapting to it. And I got, Larry, I got my yeah. cable back on. Yeah. Yeah, so, that's man, good. it cost me a fortune. Oh, yes. Almost yeah, $600. Joe, turn back on again. And they, they've been sick, too. Yeah. They've been wanting to come down, but, you know, and it's, well, they've been sick and everything else. And I said, you know, you guys, and I told my niece, she was sick. Yeah. And uh, I said, you better go check yourself and have the doctor check you. Yeah. Well, my son went, I'm glad my son went yesterday and had it done. And then they told him. But, it, but I, and then they said a lot of it can be, you know, um, and warnings of it because he has bronchial and bronchial asthma, asthma too, so yeah. it could be carbon yeah. too. Yeah. And we bought uh, Sunshine a new toy. Of course, that didn't last very long. <laughs> you know. And my grand oh Mary, I forgot to tell you my my granddaughter got some scholarship to go to UNH with. Oh, wasn't that nice? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, she's going to be a physician's assistant now instead of a a. a, a, a that narrowing the sense she decides she wants to yeah, become no, a... Yeah, no, is she going to go in Manchester or the one over in Durham? The one here in Manchester. Oh, yeah, because that would be closer for her to go. Right, and she got herself a new car. Did she? Not a brand, right. brand new one, Which, but a new yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, Chevrolet, I believe, 218. Nice. Yeah, yeah, so... And today I broke down because I had no choice. I had to change the oil after two years. Yeah. I said to the guy, I said, how is the oil work? He said, it's, everything is full. He said, your oil doesn't even, even look like it was even you even ran the engine. I don't put mile, you know, very mile on it. And I had to break down, and I had to get two windshield wipers because they wasn't wiping. They were gone. <laughs> yeah, did you cry? I did. I did. Yeah. You know. I had to get two of them. I had to the car two years. Has it been two years the, already? The guy says, and yeah, two years. And my D said, are you kidding me? I said, yeah, two years. And look, at, I need wipers. He said, that's not good. Mm-hmm. You know. And to, look, folks, this is the time to buy your gas. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is the time to buy your gas. Yeah. In you fact, know. I last week, no, two weeks ago, I needed to go to BJ's to pick a couple of things because they're the only ones that would have it. Right. And I got it. So when I went there and I got filled it up for ten dollars, yeah. and yeah. I got three dollars back. Can't buy your mask. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, sure is. You know, remember when it used to be thirty-five cents a gallon? Yes, many years ago. <laughs> the bottoms. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, and like that, I can remember when it used to be thirty-five cents a gallon, and. 
I think it was 20, 20 cents a gallon. Then, do you remember when they used to have the, um, they would pump up the gas into this big tank up over the head, like, and then it would run down into your gas? It was an old yeah. fashioned fashioned gas tank, yeah. probably one of the first gas tanks. They used they to had. have Sinclair? Yeah. Years ago? And they used to come and pump your gas for you and wash it. Yeah. Well, in Texaco, yeah. used to come out and yeah. wash your windshield. You remember the gas station? You used to have, you used to have glasses, dishes, yep. and all that? Yeah. And yeah. everything. Hey, I treated myself to a noon, a noon dinner with a set from Family Dollar. Did you? I got two sets for fifteen dollars. They were on sale for fifteen, no twenty-five. I got each one for five. Hey, that's good. Yep. You gotta watch that's the deals, good. you know, and like yeah. that, you know. So you got you know <coughs> what it costs you for the windshield wipers. Twenty bucks. Hmm. One place wanted fifty-nine dollars. Wow. And then for the oil, I paid twenty six dollars. They're on Second Street. There's yep. a little garage. Used to be, um, not, it was a Mighty Keys or something. Used to oh, be yeah. there years yeah. ago. Yeah, the Speedy. And it was twenty six dollars for a uh, oil change, uh -huh. which I had done today. I needed it, but that was, you know, I went everywhere else. Yeah. They wanted from eighty to one hundred and ten dollars. To have an oil change. How do you like that? Isn't that ridiculous? Isn't it? Yeah. It, it really, they're trying to take the people and, and rake, as they say, rake over the coal. Yeah. You know, I look around, I, I, as you know, I live near 7 Eleven. Once the market basket and Hannaford's close, I look around, and Mary, that 7 Eleven is making a lot of money. You know? Yeah. You know? Well, Mary, I'm going to let you go. I got my famous right. friend here, the Freedom of Speech, Freedom of Second Right Amendment, Mr. <laughs> the Honorable Gary job. Hopper. Hi, Norm. Hi, Gary. And we'll talk to you later. Hey, Gary. Hey, Hi. How you doing, Mayor? Getting there. Good. One day at a time, honey. Always yeah, front yeah. with you. Uh-oh. One day at a time is I right. I won't tell you why. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay, Mary, have a good day. Thanks for talking with me. All right, catch you later. Yeah, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. God bless, everybody. You too, yeah. How are you doing, Gary? All right. What the heck happened? I just got out of my truck. The wind is so bad on Elm Street that uh, my door flung open. Oh, wow. Which is, it didn't, you know, luckily it didn't, didn't get hit by a car. And then my hat went up in the air about 10 feet over. I had no clue where it went in the, uh, the, um, a guy passing by says, hey, it flew over to the bushes. <laughs> he stopped well, and tried to help me, so that was pretty cool. Well, I lost my hat walking across, hands across the Merrimack. You have to walk with me sometime. And uh, I, I had my one of my hats on, Yeah. My favorite one, of course. And I went to grab it. Next thing I know, it's floating down the river. Oh, jeez. <laughs> see, when I went out here, see, what I did, I took my hand, and I go, wind, be strong. Right, right. So how, how well does that work you? for you? I'm sorry? How, do, how well does that work for you? Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> if you believe that one, I'll tell you another one, right? <laughs> but you know what I have been finding, Gary? What's that? I'm finding peace through the higher power. That's awesome. You know, I really am. And I sometimes I get choked up when I find it. Yeah. You know, I you and I talked about this before, right? But I'm beginning to really, you know, what there is a higher power up there. Absolutely, there is God, and God's good. You know, and my son, we just found out today has a Cronus 19 virus. Yeah, yeah, I saw but, that. Yeah. Yeah, and they said that he'll be okay, but you know, stay home for three days, but he's going to stay for 14 days. So, folks, you know, what's a good thing about it is that he's going to get paid for staying home. Yeah. Because of our strong, fearless leader. Yeah. I think, yeah, it's a lot of... I've been doing a lot. Uh, I did some more research today. And and I will tell you, Norm, I believe if the news media told the truth, t Trump would be completely unstoppable. There was um, a story I posted on Facebook today, 132 different lies the media has told since he was, since before Trump was elected and, and elected. Um, 
the the whole like right now it's f i mean i knew this years ago and i've talked about it i think with you and yeah. on my show years ago about how this whole russian thing was a hoax but you had people like uh, uh, Brennan and, and uh, uh, people under the, in the, from the Obama administration going on TV telling everybody, you know, there is evidence coming out of the collusion between Trump, Russian, Russia and Trump. All the time, right? Mm -hmm. Well, now the testimony is, is uh, um, declassified. When they testified in Congress, those same people said... We, I have seen no evidence of collusion between Russia and Trump. No, it's between Obama and Russia. Well, w actually, the one, the one that was found out, I think, in the last couple of days, is Brennan said, kept saying, you know, the former uh, CIA director, or whatever director he was, kept talking about that collusion. And um, under testimony, he said, uh, well, he, he, he suppressed evidence that if, if uh, Vladimir Putin wanted anybody elected in 2016, it was Hillary. Not because he had anything against Trump, but Hillary was a known commodity and they knew they could work with her. But Trump was kind of a loose cannon, so they didn't know what he would do. So they were actually in favor, if anything, of, of Hillary Clinton getting elected. So this whole nar the whole narrative of two years of Russian collusion was completely vaporized in the last few days. But you, you hardly hear anything in the news about right. it. Yeah. You know, I, I find interesting that uh, once a day, Flanagan, uh, or no one day exonerated. Mike, Flynn, uh, Michael Flynn. Michael Flynn. General Flynn, yeah. Yeah, we knew that he was innocent. Yeah, we did. We knew that years ago, but it's just coming out now. I can't believe... Such a huge, huge following that Obama still has. I know. Well, it's the see the Flint thing is actually quite interesting because I was I was looking at um, I knew that Obama had fired him in 2014. So I was saying, well, why did he fire him? I really wanted to find that. There's, there's you know, there's what the news tells you is why, and what probably is why. And after looking into it, it turns out that Flynn was was cleaning up the intelligence uh, society, uh, assets in Ukraine. Okay, that was what he was tasked to do. He was appointed in 2012, and that's what he was doing. He was cleaning up stuff that was the corruption in Ukraine, uh -huh. and, or American assets in Ukraine. And Obama fired him. Well, he fired him at exactly the same time he put uh, uh, Joe Biden in charge of Ukraine. Was oh, that child molester? Yeah, I don't know that he's a child molester. Anyway, um, they, they put Joe Biden in charge of Ukraine, and um, to me what it looks like is that Flynn was basically a Boy Scout and was doing his job, and they got rid of him because they wanted to take advantage of all the corruption in Ukraine because what the way the system, the this, this scam is, is the American taxpayer send a billion dollars to Ukraine. The Ukraine takes the money but, uh, but promises to spend $200 million uh, for this service in the United States and $200 million for this service so people that are connected to the United States Senate or the House, people in leadership, their children get jobs at these different firms, and next thing you know, they're making you know a hundred thousand dollars a year, and you know this guy's making yeah. this much money. So basically, they they take taxpayers' money, send it to Ukraine. It comes back in the form of kickbacks. A bunch of people get rich, and it's basically like laundering uh, United States taxpayer money. Right. Yeah. But as if Flynn was in there, they couldn't do that because yeah. he would have said, what, what are you guys doing? And so they kicked him out, and one of the reasons they didn't want him getting back in is because he would have seen all that once he was uh, given the security clearance to just start checking all this stuff out. So they had, uh, they had to worry about that. 
they knew Flynn wasn't in favor of the uh, Obama's uh, Iran deal, yeah. and so they, they, General Flynn posed a direct threat to a lot of the things the Obama administration had done. So they they pulled out all the stops to to basically uh, tr entrap him, and the way they did that is, so they had done an investigation into Flynn, the FBI did. The people, I think, at the lower ranks had cleared him and said, he's, he's, there's nothing, nothing here. Yeah. And then uh, Peter Stroke from the FBI said, well, don't, don't re, uh, exonerate him yet. Let's hold off on that. And then they had uh, uh, the director of the FBI had that clandestine, the meeting with Flynn. And to give the, the v viewers an idea of how that works, okay? So um, picture yourself. Um, having a meeting, I'm, I'm having this this discussion with Norm, okay? And we have this meeting over the phone. Let's let's call it this discussion right now. And two years from now, the FBI, or six months from now, they said, uh, "Were you talking to Norm on uh, what, whatever day this is, May, whatever yeah. it is?" And I said, and "I remember, oh, yeah, yeah, I think I was." Yeah. So, well, did you say this? I guess so. I think so. Sure. Right? And it's a friendly conversation. They're just asking you questions. Well, it turns out they have a transcript. They have the, the transcript of the actual conversation. So they know that, that I didn't say that. They, they kind of bait me into saying, to saying something kind of benign, not necessarily relevant. And next thing you know, I have lied to the FBI. And that's how they do it. So yeah. if, if you, if, if based on what we know now, if the viewer is ever to have a, a, a situation where they're talking to the FBI and you say anything, you're screwing up. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's true because, you know, they tell you you have freedom of speech. Right. But, but it's censored. Well, you don't have a, a freedom of speech with the FBI because if you say something that's not true, you don't have to lie. Okay, it doesn't have to be a lie. Like if I had said, yeah, I said that to Norm. I don't, I'm not lying because I think I said it. Yeah. Right? Because I just don't remember it correctly. Yeah. yeah. But so not remembering something accurately, which most of us can't, is lying to the FBI and you've just committed a, and that's what they tried to prosecute him on. And then what they did is that wasn't, they, uh, Flynn was defending himself. And then they said, look, if you, if you don't, you know, Admit to something. We're going to go after your kid. Yeah. And you know, as as a dad, yeah. If the, uh, you could stand your ground, he had already lost his house. He had lost his job. He had lost basically Everything. all yeah. his money. And you probably could stand up to that. Yeah. But once they said, "We well, yeah, but we're going after your kid," what do you yeah. do? Yeah. Well, that's like uh, what's his name, Casaba, the one the the judge now. The other uh, uh, Sullivan. Yeah, 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 the justice now that um, uh, Trump put oh, in. Oh, Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh. Look Court. what they did to him. You know, the sad part is he's going to be scarred for the rest of his life for yeah. these false accusations. But you know the best part? You and I know who's in control. Yes. And he's up there. Yep. He already knows. He already, uh, he already knows who is going to be president. Yep. Who's going to not be president. Yep. You know, I mean, Gary and I are going to be running for president and, and vice president of Don Catcher in a year, you know. I'm not sure we'd win, but we can try. Yeah, we'll have a special <laughs> memo, you know. <laughs> you know, but, uh, what <coughs> so I, I see you do a lot of walking in the woods, huh? Yeah, I uh, actually, I think I've lost a good, I don't know how many pounds, at least. I, I was noticing you had lost some. Do you feel better? Yeah. yeah, I've been doing, I've been walking about uh, three miles a day anyway. Yeah. I go out like I love walking between five and six o'clock in the morning. Oh, really? Oh my God, it's the most. You want a spiritual awakening, Gary? Walk between five and six in the morning. Why is five and six so? I, I don't I'm know. Not For sure. me, that's right. my spiritual awakening. And if nobody's around, I'm dancing to myself <laughs> and I'm singing, you know. And I'm singing, and I'm singing the spiritual language. I'm dancing. Once in a while, people look at it, and they walk by, you know. Right. But it is the most gratifying. And I, get a, I do a lot of my meditating, you know, because I write a lot of messages on there, you know. 
and I, I do a lot of that. And by the way, I, I, I'm going to uh, have, I'll probably give you a uh, phone call from my, I have a Norm's Community Corner live on my Facebook, so I'd like to talk to you for an hour. I'll, I'll, get, I'll give you more information on okay. that. Okay. Okay. Um, because it's cool, I do it for an hour, and at home I also have well, spiritual readings by uh, Reverend Norm. Um, I, folks, I did go to, I am certified, I did go to Bible school, I have studied, so a lot of these people don't realize, I know a lot about the Bible, just right. like you and I both do, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just because I do what I do doesn't mean I don't know about the Bible. Right. You and I have talked about that before, you know? And right now, I'm praying for my son to get healed. He just got told today he has a Corona 19 disease. Yeah. You know, but he'll get, he'll be okay. Yeah. How yeah. old is he? Uh, 47. Yeah, he should be fine. Yeah. He has. See, the one thing is he had bronchial asthma, so I'm not. I'm hoping that that they got that. We got the person where he worked at at this factory where he works. His girlfriend had it. I guess he had to stay home too. So. Yeah. But one thing about Trump, and I don't care what you people out there say, these people are getting paid for being you know, sick with this, yeah. you know. Yeah, but that can only go on so much, not very much longer. Oh, no, they no. got to they gotta get the country back going because yeah. there's only so much. Open up the rest, open up the stores. Yeah. They can wear a mask. Why not? I, I shudder when I walk into the market. Do you, when I walk into the market basket. Yeah. I shudder when I see, and, and the thing that disturbs me the most is that the elderly people are not wearing the mask. That's that's sketchy. I know, well, the thing is, so so my position on masks, yeah, is the reason I'm wearing it right now specifically because right now you and I are at a safe distance. Right. We really don't need to wear a mask. No. But the way I look at it is, as people watching. And as community leaders, we have to we have to set an example. Yeah, I got a call on that because I didn't have my mask on. Oh yeah, you did yeah. good. Yeah, good. So but I had to put my mask on. And what I'm going to be doing, you know, I'll, I'll clean up the orange. You can take it one and also wipe it all down. Then I have that hand motion. Hand sanitizer. Do, yeah. yeah, you yeah. know, you can take precautions. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is is the uh, some people say, well, the mask doesn't really protect you. Well, that's kind of true. All right, so this is this is a decent mask, and it it isn't a hundred percent no effective because the 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 particles that the 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 uh, COVID nineteen is very small, but the COVID nineteen is a, I believe attached to like water, so yeah. that actually I don't think would penetrate. No. Okay, so this might protect me somewhat. But the way a mask really helps is if I have COVID-19, if I expel hu uh, humidity basically by coughing, sne you know, sneezing or whatever, it doesn't uh, uh, propel itself out no, into no, the around yeah, me. Right. You know, if you pick picture, you know those, remember when we were little, we had those uh, little balls of uh, uh, like, mushroom spores. Oh, yeah, yeah. You hit it and the cloud goes out. Yeah. So you picture it like that. It's like, it's like a cloud of spores. So every time somebody with COVID-19 coughs or or laughs or sneezes, it's like this, this puff of spores that goes out. Yeah. So if they're wearing a mask, that all stays in the mask. Yeah. yeah. So the, a mask really isn't to protect the person who's wearing it. It's to protect uh, like the others. It's to protect others from you. And yeah. that, I think, is very effective. Right. Well, I'm going to tell you, Gary, since we've had the coronavirus, I have done more energy. I've done more walking. Yeah, me too. Okay, like we walked from the, my house to the studio. Yeah. And now we're going to walk home because actually the bus doesn't run. So they're actually doing us a favor by having, that way we're getting our energy back. Are you, are you, being, are you uh, uh, walking without a cane now? Yeah, I have my cane. You still got the cane, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. I'm not... But it's I'm, mostly a club now. I'm sorry? It's mostly a club right. now. It's more of a security type thing. Somebody yeah. comes near me, I'll bap them. Right, 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 right. You know, but uh, it's more, like you said, a, a more of a security because there are days when I feel I always have to call Scott to come get me. Yeah. You know, but the more of that medication that you're on the same thing I am, but I, I get 
very, very, my whole personality changes. Uh, and it's not a nice change. Right. You know, I'll, I, I'll, I'll make something out of nothing. What are you talking about? Which one? And that metaphor. The what? That metaphor, the diabetes pill. Oh, really? Yeah. He'll tell you my whole personality changes, you know. And bless him, I don't know how he puts something with me because anything will set me off. Yeah. You know. I used to get that way with steroids. Yeah. I never did steroids. I did them a lot because yeah. it was the way it controlled my asthma yeah. and my eczema. Yeah. yeah, my son did that too. You it's know. really horrible stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, my, my homemade cigarette controls it. <laughs> you know. But, uh, you know, the one thing that I believe, and that's what I don't, that we can heal ourselves, but also what I believe in is we need to set an example of positive energy within ourselves. Right. You know, like if you ask a higher power to come and help you heal your body, be sincere about it. Don't let him do the work because you have to do the work yourself. Yeah. He'll be there. He'll guide you. You know, I don't know if you saw this on Facebook. They had, you know, these evangelists that make all kinds of money right. in their TV shows. Yeah, yeah. One yeah. lady, and I have to agree with her, if they are such a healing people, why aren't they in the hospitals talking to, wear masks, why aren't they in the hospitals talking to the people that are patients that are in there? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah it, there, you mean like the... Uh the faith healers on yeah on TV Joyce make, Meyer and all that make hundreds of millions of dollars a year. yeah yeah one get one of them just made bought a seven eight point seven point eight million dollar house yeah yeah that's that is you know the Bible says there will be false gods there are false gods yeah, there's yeah. also I think one of the uh, one of the things Christ repeats multiple times is there'll be basically false Christs and false teachers right near the end and those people are false teachers yeah there was one of them um, and, and and I think and and that's actually one of the things they do besides scamming all those people to give them money they also um, so badly represent Christianity because right. they claim to be Christian that uh, it gives Christianity a real bad name. I used to love Billy uh, Billy Graham. Billy Graham, yeah, he's good. My mother, by force, I bless her heart, what a beautiful lady. She, every Sunday, we would have to sit in front of that TV, and every Sunday, we would have to listen to him. Yeah. And we had the pleasure of going to Sunapee, New Hampshire. You know where that is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the, in the auditorium there, the high school, we went, and my, I thought my mother was going to faint from a heart attack because Billy Graham shook her hand. <laughs> you know? And my mother was in her late 80s. Yeah. And we're going and talking to Billy Graham. Yeah. And she never, you know. Um, and the one thing I find, you know, like Mother's Day, I found it interesting, and I hope that people will respect their mothers. Yeah. I had, I guess you could say I had several mothers. I had foster mothers. Yeah. But everyone, I was very blessed. To, I've heard the horror stories of foster homes. Folks, not all foster homes are bad. Right. You know. So, Gary, when is your, when are the state uh, people going to be meeting again, state reps? And, uh, I state hope reps? it's not soon. I mean, that's why I'm getting out and walking, because I haven't had to go to Concord to, um, all, uh, all this part of spring. I had no idea how nice spring was this time of year. Isn't it beautiful? It is beautiful. Before the before the black flies are really out in force and, you know, it's still cold enough so you don't have to worry about mosquitoes. It's, it's actually been really nice. I did manual labor today. Boy, oh, I wow. I mowed my lawn out back. I mowed the lawn out front. Phew! Maybe off. But, you know, since I got to say it, it sounds weird, but I have done more things since this virus has been around. Yeah. I figured out how to go on Facebook. I mean, on uh, YouTube and do a show. I have my own blog now. What's it called, Scott? Um, what is it? Reverend Norm. Oh, yeah, my blog is Reverend Norm. Dot blogspot dot com. Okay. And I have a YouTube show, and Gary doesn't know him. I'm going to get him talking live on. 
Uh, spiritual readings by Reverend Norm. Okay, we'll talk about different things, probably more about the religion than anything. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, the one thing that I want people to understand, your religion is your choice. Don't allow these so-called people that want to take it away from you or your freedom of speech. you agree with that? And most of all, don't let these petty-ass people take your Second Amendment right away. Yep. And one of the things I do want to tell you, and I really mean this, because I've been looking at all these people from the Republican side that are running for Senate and Congress and stuff, get your buttocks out there. Start campaigning more and more. I asked him, and he hadn't responded back to me. Oh, okay. Okay. But, you know, if you Republicans don't get out there and stick up for the Republican Party, you're going to get people reelected. Do you really want the Democratic Party? I mean, it's your choice, folks, but I don't want well, you, you. You know what's really funny is uh, if you look at the Democratic Party, the one thing that this, this virus has exposed is one of their big, big uh, initiatives has always been mass transit. One of the things that caused this virus to spread so quickly was mass transit putting a, a whole bunch of people who are possibly sick in a, in a small tube is a guarantee that that virus is going to spread very, very fast. Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in your mind either. I and there's been more. bills up in Congress about mass transit between Boston and, and I think, Manchester. So the second thing, they, oh, another thing that they've been pushing really hard is getting rid of uh, disposable bags so that everybody has to carry a reusable bag. Well, as soon as this virus started, that's one of the first things that they got rid of because that's a perfect way to carry a virus in and out of a store. I think Sanudu's doing a hell of a job. I think he's doing good. I think, yeah. I personally think he could, have o he could open up New Hampshire last week yeah. or the week before. All he'd have to do is get the business owners to say, you can open up. But just make sure your employees or anybody coming in and out of the store is wearing a mask. Yeah. You know, and if, I if see they were to do that, you wouldn't be spreading the disease and mm. everybody could, you know. Yeah. And I see they're doing, uh, uh, like, I come by Giorgio's. Yeah. And uh, I see they're having picnic tables separated far enough so that they can eat out, which I, I don't see a problem with. Right. You know, and that pick up and carry. Um, I don't see a problem with that either, you know. Um, but we got to support our business people. Oh yeah, I mean this is this is really really bad if we don't get get things up and and I don't I don't think people understand because they're waiting for DC to come up with another package of sending money out. Yeah. But there's only so much money. The 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 only way the government gets money is by people working and paying taxes. That's how it gets all its money. If nobody's working or paying taxes, then the, everything, the whole house of card collapses. Yeah, I, you know, and that's like with me. Uh, one person told me that I could apply for unemployment because I haven't had any money for my business coming in. Yeah. No, that would not be right. Yeah. I did not go out and work on a job. I am not going to take money that I don't deserve. Right. You know, and like that. Well, Gary, I got to let you go because you got a show. This is Gary, the Audible. Um. Gary. Well, I don't know about the honorable part, but anyways. In title only. In title, okay. The honorable Gary Hopper, stay tuned for raw paper, paper hand, hand grenade. grenade. Right? I got it all right. You got it right in a row. You yeah. Got it, yeah. And folks, I'll see you all next week. Be kind to each other and be the winner. Let's overcome this virus. Thanks, Norm. Yeah, bye-bye. My pleasure.